Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'll be talking about some newspaper websites and resources I normally visit in order to improve and enhance enhance my reading skills. And all of these websites, some of them you have to pay um, you have to pay weekly or annually in order to re continuously read. But some websites are 100% free of charge. So you don't need to worry about the quality of it because all the information I know is accurately correct. Right, so let me check out. Uh, we have five websites here. And the first website, I visited it literally every single day. It is Life Science. So in Life Science, there are, there are articles about scientific developments, about our planet Earth, about exploring exploring um, other planets in the solar system, about um, natural events, about environment, climate change, global warming, literally every single thing related to science can be found here. For example, you click on the home icon and it will appear uh, some of the most latest news or some of the most um, update news on this website. For example, the latest news is US shoots down UFO over Canada. So, well, it is, I'm not really into this issue, so I just scroll down until I found the news that I am interested in. For example, here, a news that, well, about the earthquake of Turkey and Syria, which I've been heard about over the past few over the I'm sorry over the past few days. All right, so just click on it. It says, "Why was the earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria so deadly?" So, let me see. The February sixth earthquake in Turkey and Syria was so deadly because the region sits on a boundary between multiple tectonic plates, while soil and building conditions make strong earthquakes more likely to cause damage. Damage. More than twelve thousand people were killed and tens of thousands left injured and homeless following a devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria on Monday, February sixth. So this is not the latest news. So the statistic may be a little bit uh, wrong. For example, now we have been f we have been found over twenty eight thousand death tolls from the earthquake, not twelve thousand. So the number here is a little bit not updated. But still, yeah, you will see that this earthquake has a devastating consequence on Turkey and Syria, causing thousands of deaths. And while well, a lot of people become homeless, and it, it caused a um, tremendous t damage to the infrastructure, to the buildings, homes, properties, and animals, and even even people's lives. So, so from this article, you can see. The reason why this earthquake is so deadly and so devastating. So remember to check this out if you have the same question as this mentioned in this article. All right, so that's the first website. Oh, here, I'll also, by the way, I'll tell you my favorite section in this website. It is Planet Earth. Well, this section is so amazing. I really love this because we can learn about climate change, about earthquakes, glaciers, about pollution and ocean hurricanes everything related to the planet earth can be found here like for example i am interested in finding more information about climate change about the effects the cause and the solutions to climate change or what happened to our temperature and our atmosphere so just um check it out for example the latest new on their climate change section is which animals are most likely to survive climate change you know climate change makes the ice glaciers on Antarctica like melting and some of the animals live in Antarctica like polar ices are at risk of extinction and they can find their food sources their accommodation something like that or you can also check out 10 signs we got closer to climate disaster in 2022. So let's click on it. Sorry for my curiosity, but I'm just so love learning about their, their signs of climate disaster so that 
I can encourage people more to do their action and to protect our planet Earth. For example, here we have um, the first the first um, sign we got to climate disaster in 2022. It's actually months ago, but yeah. First is zombie viruses wake up. Second, a dramatic sea level rise. I totally agree with this point. Three is disappearing glaciers. That's true too. Four is climate chaos. Five is dumpster diving polar bears. Of course. Six is worse weather, you know, extreme weather events like more droughts, more frequent and long droughts or hurricanes or storms happening due to climate change. Seven is penguin populations on the rocks. Um, eight is the sixth mass extinction. Oh. All right, so maybe it's a surprising new for you, but just let me read out loud this. Earth is barreling toward its sixth mass extinction. Five other times in Earth history, vast swaths of life on the planet have died off in a short period of a few million years. Our planet species aren't yet drying off at rates to qualify for a mass extinction. But we are entering toward it. On average, the background rate of extinction sees 5% to 10% of animal species disappear every million years. A major extinction occurs when 60% of species and 35 of genera vanish. The current rate of extinction is increasing but still within the normal range. However, once temperatures are 16.2 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius above the current average, which scientists estimate would not happen until 205, um, 2500, which is 500 years later, Earth would enter major mass extinction territory. Next is point of no return. Um, and the final one is doomsday glacier risk. I want to tell you one more, one more um, signs that we are get, getting closer to the climate disaster is that their temperature is getting hotter and hotter every single day and it results in a lot of natural events like wildfires or um, you know people will feel the hot and they can get really frustrated because nobody realizes hot weather right it makes them um, it makes them become uncomfortable and sweating so no one loves scorching days except it is sunny nice weather right so that's a little bit about the life science I mean I'm talking about this like seven minutes so just three minutes left for four other website I'm sorry I'm just so love this website so I have to recommend because it is so underrated not many people out there know about this website but it's actually really good it provides very high quality articles yeah so that's just uh, my favorite website next is CNN International so this is um located on I don't know in the United States probably or in the UK but I mean for in the United States anyway so this website is basically talking about the breaking news that happened all over the world you can find literally so many sections so many um, categories here for example over the world or the style US politics travel to their weather to their sports health entertainment literally every single aspect every single thing that you are into can be found on this website I occasionally visit this but I just I really love the web, live science website sorry for talking so much about this but yeah now let's come back to our main point let's um, discover about health about sleep for example which is a main issue for outer elders and adults especially who are suffering from insomnia um, I'm sorry for the uh, Wi-Fi sleep sleep life but better all right so you can learn more about it because now um, I just have three minutes to talk about three websites next is the New Yorker so this is in form of magazines I practically really love this one because it is um, has a lot of images illustrations and the title is really interesting too for example just um, in front of my eyes it appeared a news oh I'm sorry a magazine is not news magazine is okay 
like um, the forgotten history of head injuries in sports or um, some